<coughs> Today's battle is between Sub Zero and Freddy Frostbear. This fight was suggested by my brother. Fucking kill me. In all the FNAF battles that my brother requested, pretty much 95% of the animatronics that he requested always lose in a fight. No shit. But this animatronic, Freddy Frostbear, might actually stand a chance against Sub-Zero. One, he's made out of ice, and two, he's one of the stronger and bigger animatronics since he can hold fucking weapons. That's a good thing. Okay, let's just get into this shit. Sub-Zero. Six foot two, weighs two hundred and ten pounds. <laughs> weapons include martial arts, ice powers, can summon weapons out of ice. Yeah, that's it. Now, Freddy Frostbear, six foot eight, weighs two hundred eighty pounds. Weapons include a giant freaking ice spear and a giant two foot long icicle. Uh, no, I'm not joking. In this PNG, you can see it's ice spear, but. And some other ones, you can see that he has a giant icicle. <coughs> Anyways, Freddy Frostbear can bite, punch, and kick, and stomp. <coughs> and bash into his ponies. Okay, fight! Ding, ding, ding. Sub-Zero and, and Freddy Frostbear meet. Freddy Frostbear does that an iconic laugh. That Freddy laugh when you play FNAF. <laughs> I don't fucking know. So... <laughs> Freddy Frostbear then gets his icicle and throws it at Sub Zero. Sub Zero spins around and kicks it in midair, breaking it into a million pieces. Sub Zero then says, "Um, I'm bad with dialogue. Okay, your to- your foolishness will not be tolerated by the Lin Kuei." So he shoots it uh, for some reason, shoots an ice ball. At Freddy Frostbear. An ice ball at Freddy Frostbear. They're both made out of fucking ice for God's sake. It's not gonna work, you stupid Sub Zero. Anyways, he, th- he does it anyway, and Freddy Frostbear is just like, oh, okay. Freddy Frostbear then pulls out a spear. Sub Zero then says, surprisingly, for some reason, this battle will be harder than I thought it would be. So, he summons a giant ice axe. Ice battle axe. And they start dueling it. And ting, ting, ting. Just ice clanging into each other. Frost is flying everywhere. And everywhere, and everywhere, and everywhere. <sighs> Just ting, 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 ting. Freddy Frostbear then punches Sub-Zero in the face. But Sub-Zero kicks... Kicks um Freddy Frostbear in the face, so it's just like, so yeah. Okay, now we're from our sponsors. Water, water can quench your thirst. That's pretty much it. Now, now back to the fight. So Zero is just punching some Freddy Frostbear, and it's hurting him, but Frost, Freddy Frostbear grabs his spear and whacks Sub-Zero in the head with it, knocking him out for like, for like freaking eight seconds. Since Freddy Frostbear is made out of ice, he has limited mobility. Yeah. This way, I'll be right back. Anyways, yeah. <clears throat> I got them back. Anyways, Sub so Zero then summons an ice sword and stabs it into Freddy Frostbear's eyes. <laughs> Freddy Frostbear, Frostbear yells in victory. He's like, ah! So he jabs his ice spear and impales Sub Zero. Sub Zero pulls out his freaking ice sword and stabs it into his other eye. So Freddy Frostbear yells even louder, ah! So, Freddy Frostbear shakes Sub-Zero off his spear, and yeah. <laughs> Sub-Zero gets back up, but he's bleeding everywhere. <laughs> Since uh, that freaking blade of the freaking Freddy Frostbear. Sub-Zero then summons a giant battle wax. And he's like, The terror is over. Die from the hands of the Lin Kuei. So, he raises his freaking battle wax up. And swings it. But Freddy Frostbear has other plans. 
He tr- he, he, sw- he swings in the direction of the battle axe. Ching. Yeah. Freddy Frostbear, that wasn't really a good idea. You just broke your own spear. Freddy Frostbear realizes what the hell he has done, and then Sub Zero just knocks over Freddy Frostbear with his giant axe with the blunt end. And then Sub Zero goes in all out medieval style. Goes on the side. Sub Zero Freddy Frostbear looks at Sub Zero and he's like, No before Sub Zero raises his axe and lowers it. Sub-Zero then destroys his axe, then says, My job here is done. And then walks off. (laughs) Freddy Frostbear has been decapitated. Verdict. In a fight between Sub-Zero and Freddy Frostbear, Sub-Zero wouldn't win around 60% of the- No, actually 63% of the time. Sub-Zero- his ice powers weren't work in this battle because you, come on, it's Freddy Frostbear. He's made out of fucking ice. So that thing gives this this giant hulking piece of shit some ice immunity, and he has giant weapons which could actually kill Sub Zero. But Sub Zero is just more trained, smarter, better weapons. You know, more skilled. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But hey, who do you think would have won this fight? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.